joy and hope and peace face to face your love released i lift my voice and i sing how great you it's not something that i dreamt up one day i want to be a worship leader it's just something that just kind of has been happening it's been who i am it's part of my my dna how great you are Our message is simple. Let's get back to the Christ, the King, the centrality of who He is, the focus of Him as King, releasing worship unto God our King. That has become our quest. We are passionate for the presence of God. How great you are. How great. Even now, with where we are in our ministry, the Lord has told me three things that need to be hinge points for everything that we do. Whatever our ministry does needs to be experiential. People need to experience something different. It was a joy to hear the Lord speak to me throughout the worship. There was definitely a divine encounter with the Lord. I was brought more into God's presence in this conference than any other conference I've ever been to. And I wasn't expecting it. The second part is educational. You have to provide biblical training and teaching for the experience because it, the Bible is the only thing that will keep us in balance. Change is taking place today. You see, often we do battle in the heavenlies. And we have to do the spiritual thing before it manifests in the physical. But because you followed the instructions of God, you've come into this place asking nothing from Him, but bringing something to Him. But then the third component, which is key, is impartation. You see, once God gives you something, it's not designed to be a corner on the market so that you can showcase it we got enough marketing ministries showcasing their bottled sweat, you know, prayer water, whatever, I don't care. Whatever it is, God wants you to release and impart into those who He gives you audience with that which He has entrusted you with. Lord, I impart into them, I pronounce over them a fresh passion for the presence of God. I decree and declare that in their life and in their ministry, there shall be no more business as usual, but it shall be business of the King of Kings, Lord. I understand that our purpose and our focus and our ministry is to raise up worshipers who are passionate for the presence of God. And as I Surround me with your radiance. When people come to the events, the Lord told me very specifically, He said, dig the wells of worship. Let the worshipers come and drink, find refreshing, but send them back to their local bodies to infect the local body with a passion for my presence. When people come to our conferences, I believe that there are so many people who are hungry and thirsty. My prayer is that they'll find refreshment and refreshing in His presence. It was like I couldn't stop praising Him and dancing Him. It was like I just had to uh, keep praising Him. It was so much peace and joy. It was so peaceful. I just want to go back now. Can I go back? This worship was, uh, the conference was just awesome. And there was a free spirit of movement in the spirit to worship in truth. I just, you know, like I felt like I was at home. You know, like when you're at home, when you're praying and you're worshiping, you know, I forgot, oh, that's right, I'm here. <laughs> you will not experience a big, nice show. You won't experience a great concert. But I can guarantee you one thing. You can expect that the show is not about a person 
and that everything that we do is going to be pointing towards the presence of God. You're a new person, so we're going to make a facility. We're going to create a literal, physical place for you, a safe place. I can tell you that God is here. And um, when you come to a place like this, you come to a dwelling place and you come and you get to leave all your burdens and all your fears and all the things that we carry on or we have to endure in the world. And it's just a place of rest. We're gonna create time and set it aside so that you can come out of your comfort zone. And we're gonna give you a comfortable, safe place to practice coming into the presence of God. We're going to go into His presence. We hope that you're going to come with us. We are hungry and passionate for the presence of God, and we invite you to make the journey to His throne room with us. God bless you.